Alright guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be doing a full ROM review and tutorial of a ROM that's actually faster than Super D. It's called Fast Test. Um, it is absolutely blazing fast. As you can see, the lock screen has this black lock screen right here that has T-Mobile time and date. And um, the screen lock to unlock. And it says to um, press to unlock. The first thing you're probably going to notice is that it doesn't have an application drawer. You just kind of swipe up there. And you may be thinking, okay, that's dumb. But one of the cool effects is that when you actually touch it, it lights up. And then when you're holding it down, it stays lit up. And then it goes away and you're not touching it. When you touch it again, it lights up again. Now, I think that's just a little touch that makes it look really nice. This ROM has five home screens like most screens do. Um, like most donut ROMs these days do. This is the default analog clock. And this is my favorite analog clock that's be that's been included with really any ROM that I've ever flashed. Um, it's my favorite analog clock I've ever seen defaultly on a ROM. Um, the wallpaper gallery is also pretty darn nice. Go ahead and take a look at it. It has some really interesting images that we have not been able to see before. And I'll just take you um, I'll just take you through the entire wallpaper gallery. I've never done this before. But I really like the wallpaper gallery so I'm going to show you guys the entire thing. So it's a really, really nice wallpaper gallery. You see, this is the default G1 one, but it has a little Android guy in the corner. And that's the wallpaper gallery. So it's a really, really nice wallpaper gallery. I personally like the Galaxy. Um, I think that's a really, really cool background. So I have that defaultly on my um, actual screen. And I also wanted to show you guys this dialer. It's really, really nice looking. As you can see, it's very minimalistic, very simple easy to press buttons, they light up when you touch them really really easy to touch and I actually really like this dialer another thing to the HTC Fast Test ROM as you can see I have my set CPU at 528 maximum and minimum right there and I have it on performance mode so that's what I like using um, it doesn't really do something insane but it does help a lot one of my other favorite features about this phone is the notification bar up on top you have that battery that has the notches and the ridges up there um, which is one of my favorite things and the notification bar is black and when you bring it down it's also black which you never see in ROMs and it's also black and transparent it just looks really really nice um, which is my one of my favorite things about this ROM other than its speed um, it has those five default home screens Opening up apps is just really fast. I haven't even opened up messaging yet. And you can see, it's really fast. Um, I'll show you when I hit home, it instantly takes me home. And when I tap messaging, it instantly takes me to messaging. Um, same thing if I open up music, which I haven't opened on my phone yet today. You can see you have the new Eclair music application. Um, I mean the Nexus music application. It's not super changed, but um, you can see the four tabs are up on top now. And it has an animation when switching between them, which is pretty cool. And if I switch straight through mess um straight to messaging, you can see it's really fast. And you can go right back to music. So that's one of the really cool features about this phone. It is probably the fastest ROM I flashed. It's it's from the same creator of Super D, it's HTC Clay. Um you can see there's now the new official AIM application for Android. Well, let me make sure my AIMS address isn't showing. Yes, yeah, so the new official AOL Instant Messenger application. I mean, you guys can download that from the market, which you can see the icon is now changed for. And there's also a new browser icon, a new gallery icon. Um, it has the latest Eclair um, cal calculator, which is really nice as well. It really, it really has a ton of Eclair fillings, like the new Nexus clock, which is really nice, and I can turn the um, brightness all the way down just with that instant toggle it has car home which not a lot of ROMs donut ROMs have at all you can see it actually fully works there I can go right back home and the car home icon is also changed as a little Android guy in the middle which is pretty nice I've installed quite a few applications on here 
Tweetcaster is definitely the best Twitter application, Google Voice. What's actually really cool is that this is the first donut ROM I've ever flashed that has um, wireless tether fully working. Um, on Hero ROMs, it always works for me, but on donut ROMs, it, it never seems to work. And the wireless tether actually works at my house when I actually turn it on. So it drains battery significantly, so I'm not going to turn it on at all. But it really works, and I've done it twice before, so I've been running this ROM for two days straight. And just to show you that everything works, I'll turn on Bluetooth. You can already see Wi-Fi is on, and I'm connected to it. And I'll just turn on Bluetooth so you can see it connect. And there you go, I'm connected to Bluetooth. You see the lights flashing, and the little Bluetooth logo up there. I'll turn that back off since I don't use Bluetooth. And I'll show you guys the browser as well. And let's not show you guys my Wells Fargo. Um, we'll go to let's go to ngadget.com. Let's go ahead and let that load up. And you can see that it's the full Android 2.1 browser with that new toolbar up there and that yellow progress bar going up across the top, like pretty much all donut ROMs these days are having, which is pretty nice. And we'll go ahead and just let the page fully load up. Alright, now that it's done, I'll just go ahead and show you the browser. It's pretty smooth, actually. Um, you see a little bit of stutter there, but this is a really long, really data-filled um, filled website. But you can see it's still pretty smooth. And multi-touch is here. Let's go ahead and get that to work. Doesn't seem to want to work right now. So you can see lag right now, crazy lag. Multi-touch isn't working, and pinch to zoom. I mean, and um, double tap isn't even working. Which is pretty weird. It should definitely be working, but it was working earlier and it was not working now. So that's just a quick demo of how sometimes things just don't work well on ROMs, and that was the first time it's ever happened to me. But uh, when you flash it, it should definitely work. And you definitely want to flash, flash this ROM. If you guys are asking me what's the best ROM out there, I would say currently this is the one. So to get it, you just go ahead and um, plug your G1 into the computer, scroll down notification bar, tap USB connected, and hit mount and go to your computer. Alright guys, and so now that we're here, go ahead and find wherever you downloaded the ROM to, and go to your SD card, and go ahead, and all you're going to want to do is fine it's called fast test go ahead and drag it on to the root of your SD card and I'll show you guys that um, let's go ahead and take a look and that is I'll replace that and it is a 50.2 megabyte file so not that large of a ROM at all see it right there and once that's done copying you guys probably know to safely eject your phone from the computer and go back to your phone. Alright guys, and now go ahead and unplug the USB cable from your phone. And you only need it to place that actual ROM on your SD card because there's the 10 megabyte RAM hacks already included. So then power off your phone by holding down the end call button, tapping power off, and hit OK. And let the phone boot off. Then turn it back on using home and power and that'll boot you into recovery and hopefully you have Amon Ra 1.5.2 recovery image like I do um, no partitioned SD card required I'm currently on FAT32 only and if you have FAT32 and EXT3 then you can have auto apps to SD so you guys should know how to partition your SD card by now you just scroll to partition but what we're gonna do is do a full data wipe then go back and hit flash zip from SD card and flash fast test Alright, and when it's done, just hit Reboot System now and let your phone boot up. Alright guys, and when it boots up and you sign in with your account and everything, you will have um, Fast Tests running on your phone. You can see that's the search widget. Um, and it does, again, come with the 10 megabyte RAM hack. Just to prove that to you, I'll jump into Terminal. And type in SU. And allow this SU request and type in Free and 107 so it does come with the 10 megabyte ram hack installed and you are ready to go thanks for watching please rate this video five stars all you have to do is click a button um... comment if, if this helped you if it 
If it didn't work, let me know in the comments and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.